Hi Reception, Mr Ruan back again to explain our home learning for the week of the 15th of June. In this video we'll be talking about our literacy and maths focus and discussing the rest of the challenges we've got set up for you. So let's get started. So our topic in reception this term, as you know, has been here, there and everywhere. And we've been looking at different types of journeys. Last week we went to Africa, far, far away, to visit a girl called Handa in the story Handa Surprise. But this week we're going even further. We're going into outer space using the story The Way Back Home by Oliver Jeffers. Now, if you haven't yet read the story, there's a link in the downloaded material which we'll email out to you. So feel free to watch that, come back to us, and then we'll look at doing some words, captions and sentences for our literacy. OK then guys, so now just like last week, we're going to use our phonic knowledge to help us to break up or segment some words from the story. And once we have that sound knowledge, we're going to write it on the board. Once we've done that, we blend those sounds together to make sure the word makes sense. So, first of all, we're going to be writing some words from the story. Then we're going to see if we can combine those words into a caption. And then lastly, extend that caption into a larger sentence. The section of the story we're going to be focusing on is the bit where the boy helps fix the alien's ship. So let's think about the first word, fix. I'm going to say the word nice and slowly so I can hear the sounds. My turn. Fix. Your turn. Well done. By saying the words nice and slowly, we could hear the sounds. And there were three of them, I think. Three Fred Fingers. I turn them around, I look at them. My turn. Fix. Your turn. And there we go, we've got the sound knowledge, let's write it down. X. We check it, my turn. X. Fix. Your turn. Excellent. So there we go, there's our first word. Okay, now let's think of the word ship, just like before, my turn. Sheep. Sheep. Your turn. See, we said it nice and slowly, and I could hear three sounds. Could you? This time, you show me three Fred Fingers, and you have a go at pinching out those sounds first. Off you go. Well done. Okay, so my turn. Ship. Sheep. Ship. Your turn. And there you go. Let's write it down. Shh. You notice that was a special friend. Shh. Well done. E. And there we go. What do we do? We blend it. My turn. Shh. E. Ship. Your turn. Fantastic, guys. So, we've written two words from the story. What can we put into the middle? to see if we can make it into a very simple caption. I'll give you a clue. It's a tricky word. Well done. I think if we put the tricky word the in there, we can make it into a caption. So rather than two words on their own, we can connect it together. So, tricky word the. We can't use our sounds. We just have to learn it, don't we? It's a t, a, and an e together. And I'm going to use my red pen because it's tricky. So, ready? Okay, so no need to blend it because we can't do that. So my turn, the, your turn. And there we go. Simply by putting the tricky word the in the middle of our two words, we've made it into a caption. Okay, let's try and read it together. Fix, fix, the ship. ship. Fix the ship. Amazing, guys. Well done. So now we've written our caption. Now let's see how we can extend that caption into a larger sentence. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, how about we introduce the character of the boy to our sentence? So, let's think. Try and hold this sentence in your head. Okay. The boy can fix the ship. Your turn. Excellent, well done. We've already got fix the ship, so we just need to add the section the boy can, okay? We already know the tricky word is a the, right at the beginning, as in the, okay? Now, as it's the beginning of the sentence, some of you might know to add a capital letter, t -t -t, which is 
this but just for the tricky word there let's use the lowercase one okay so now we're going to focus on the word boy my turn boy your turn and by saying it nice and slowly, I could only hear two sounds in that word, so I'm going to use two Fred fingers. It's a bit of a tricky one, boy, not like a tricky red word, but something you might not know until later with your set two sounds. So we'll do that one together. My turn. Boy. But oi boy. Your turn. Okay, so we could hear the first sound, which is the but. But the second part of that is the oi oi toy for a boy sound. And here's how we write it. You need an O oh, and then the yeah. We check it. But oi boy, your turn. Excellent. And the last word in our sentence, we need to use the word can, as in the boy can fix the ship. This time, say it nice and slowly, my turn. Can, your turn. Excellent. Show me three Fred fingers and turn them around. And you once again break up that word for me, please. My turn, can, your turn. Great work. My turn, can. K -a -n can. Your turn. And there we go. So, a curly one. Curly, an a. And then the n. Excellent. So, let's read it back. The. But oi, boy. K -a -n can. We know this? Fix. The. Ship. What do we put at the end of our sentence? A full stop. Well done. And there we go. So, we began with two words. Fix and ship. We introduced the word the for the caption, fix the ship. And lastly, we extended it into a longer sentence. The boy can fix the ship. Well done, guys. Now for an added challenge, I want to now see if you can help write this sentence for me. Okay, my turn. The boy is on the moon. The boy is on the moon. And feel free to pause the video to have a go at using those Fred fingers and trying to write that sentence down. And when you're ready, unpause it and we'll see if we can do it together. Okay, so how did you get on? Should we practice writing the boy is on the moon together? Okay, so first of all, we know what the tricky word the is. The. We also know from the previous sentence how to write the word boy, which is b, an oi oi toy for a boy. Finger space. Now this third word is, it sounds like there's a z at the end of it. It's another tricky word for the time being. It's a s at the end of it, as a matter of fact. And we know that it starts with an i, so. Okay, the boy is on. Okay, my turn on, your turn. Okay, we could hear two sounds in there, two Fred fingers. My turn on, ah, n, on, your turn. Excellent. So. With that knowledge, R and N, okay. The boy is on. We say the words after each other to rehearse it and hold that sentence in our heads. The boy is on. We need to use our friend the again, don't we, I think? The boy is on. The. And the last word was the most tricky one phonetically to write. Okay, so my turn. Moon. Your turn. Great work, okay, so three sounds, three Fred fingers. We'll do this one together. My turn, moon, m -u -n. moon, your turn. Great work, okay, so we know it starts with an m, mm. but then there's another set to special friend in there, the oo part, which is oo, oo, poo at the zoo. You put two up together to make it. So. And lastly, moo, n, the n at the end. Full stop for the end of our sentence. And now, what do we need to do? Check it makes sense. Okay, so. You know that's a tricky word there. The. 
but oi boy, tricky word is, on on, tricky word the, and m u n moon. The boy is on the moon. Absolutely superb, guys. Well done. Some super, super writing today. Now, as an added challenge, how about you try to write some different sentences about parts of the story that you liked? Or maybe some of you could even write a narrative, which is a collection of sentences that form a story in your own words. You could write the story yourself. So well done, guys. Absolutely superb. Give yourselves a clap, 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 pat on your back. OK, then, guys, so our maths concept this week is all about sharing and sharing into equal groups. It's a little like last week's halving, but instead of sharing just by two groups, we're going to see how we can share into three and four and more. OK, so let's start off then by thinking of a number and the number I'm thinking of is the number six. OK, so if you've got a whiteboard or a piece of paper to hand, please have a go at writing that number down with me and pause if you need to. OK, so there's our number six. And as of last week, we can see about representing the number six by dots. OK, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the number six. And we've also represented it by six dots. OK, now we're going to share those dots, that number six, into equal groups. And to start off with, we'll just draw, draw two, two circles. OK, here's the first circle. And here's the second circle. Just like last week's halving, we can then put them in equally into each group. And I'll show you what I mean. Do you remember how we counted them out? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, how many in one circle? One, two, three. How many in the other circle? One, two, three. That means we've shared the number six into two groups equally. So we know that six dots shared between two equals three. You can put three in here and three in there. Let's move on then to see if we could possibly share six dots into three groups. So I'm going to draw three circles. One, two, three. So now we move past the halving. So. Just like before, we can represent six with six dots. So we're going to count out those dots and make sure they go equally into the three groups. So just like before, we we're making sure they went into the equal groups like this. We've got another circle now to think about. So I'll show you what I mean. So we need to share six between three of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. We've shared six between three. And how many is in this circle here? Well done, there's two. And how many in here? Excellent. And lastly, excellent. So we know that six shared between three groups is two. They've all got an equal amount of dots in each circle. OK, then, guys, now we've got a slightly larger number, the number 12, and I've drawn three circles here. So we're going to share the number 12 between three groups. So feel free to write the number 12, draw three circles and then share them out equally by counting out each time. And feel free to pause the video to have a bit of a chance to do it. And we'll come back together and practice it together. And don't forget, then, you're going as you're counting out, OK? So, have a go, we'll come back together shortly. OK then, so let's practice doing the number 12 together, uh, sharing it out between the three groups. So, we're going to count it out equally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So, how many dots are in each circle? Should we check? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Excellent. So we know, therefore, that sharing 12 between three groups gives you four. Well done. Now let's see if we can use four different groups. So, 
four groups, four circles. One, two, three, four. And once again, feel free to pause the video and then count out 12 between four and see where you get to. Should we do it together? Okay, so we had 12. We're going to share them out amongst four groups. Okay, so counting out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Count each amount in each circle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we know that 12 separated between the four groups here gives us three. Excellent work. Clap, 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 pat on your back. Okay then guys, so your maths challenge is to practice sharing out different amounts into different groups. Can all amounts be shared out equally into different groups? You'll probably find some can't be. Make a list of which can and which can't. The number 12, for example, can be shared between four groups, but can the number 10? So make a list of the different ways you can share out those amounts. And as always, send them into our early years email accounts. We'd love to see it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoy the literacy in maths. And please, as always, send in your writing or number work to our early years parents at eastparkacademy.com email address. There's a link to download the materials below. And there's also an email going out to you through parent mail with more information. But just to go through the challenges we've got for you this week. Can you try and draw a picture of one of the vehicles from the story The Way Back Home, such as the spaceship or rocket, and once you've done that, can you try and label it? Can you also try and use different collage materials to make your own space scene picture? There's some information on making some moon dough with the recipe and the downloadable materials, so can you have a go at doing that? And to keep our fruit theme from last week's story, can you this time try to make a fruit kebab rocket? And there's some pictures to help you do that too, very tasty. Can you also try to go outdoors and use some chalks to make some outdoor numbers? And to extend that, could you do one more and one less? And like I said before, send in anything, any photos you may have to our early years parents at eastparkacademy.com email address. A reminder also to tune to our reception assembly on Thursday. We'll be sharing our fancy dress photo challenge with you. It was lovely to see all those photos coming in. Thank you. So take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye bye.